Hello everybody and welcome to the poor man's chemist. In this video we are going to be making cadmium cyanide for fun. What you see here is a saturated solution of sodium potassium cyanide. We've got about 20 mils of it there. And over here we've got about 150 mils of a filtered saturated cadmium sulfate solution. As it turns out, cadmium sulfate is wildly soluble in water, like crazy so, and has a lovely tendency to supersaturate. I don't know, if you've got like a classroom of chemistry students, could be kind of cool like as a classroom demo. It crystallizes out the moment you disturb it, and although it likes to deceive you and make you think it's liquid until you try to filter it pain in the ass. Anyway, making this cyanide is fairly easy. <clears throat> this comes from atomistry yet again. And according to them, we simply have to combine these two solutions and cadmium cyanide, which much like thallium cyanide is fairly soluble in water, will nevertheless precipitate out. So here we go. Let's see if we're going to get another nice toxic cyanide solution. Okay. Once we get everything in frame. All right. There we go. And nothing appears to happen at first. Give it a minute. It did this last time. Hmm. Maybe it did not like the order in which I did it. Fine. Be that way. Okay. It's just about how I did this shit the first time. Roxanne, come on. Come on. Roxy, come on. There we go. Now it's happening. Okay. I was wondering there for a second because I tried this once before. And as you can see, it worked just fine. Well, you probably could if it was focused. It worked just fine before. We got a fair amount of it. Ah, and we are getting a fair amount of it again. Okay. Apparently, I just didn't have the balance quite right. Atomistry doesn't give us any definite proportion. It just says to combine two saturated solutions. Apparently, I just didn't combine enough the first time. All right, I would very much like to add this other cadmium cyanide to this. Keep it all together. Well, it settles out nicely. Hmm, and the crystals stick to glass. Well, that's nice. Okay. Sorry about that. It's 
video is devolving into a bit of a clusterfuck, but that's not exactly new on this channel now, is it? Oh well. I don't have enough cyanide to do it again, so we're going with this. Besides, we got plenty of it. Oh yes. Lots of cadmium cyanogiz is now starting to settle out. How nice. That's so great. I love these highly toxic heavy metal cyanides. These things are wonderful. It's like, even if you could get the antidote for the cyanide poisoning, the heavy metal poisoning might still completely kill you. Especially if it was several heavy metals, because polymetal poisoning is, like, really bad. Isn't that fun? <laughs> Okay, so there is the filtered product. I am beginning to, in fact, I know it. It's photosensitive. So I am going to get this in the dark so it can dry, and I will come back when that is done. Holy shit, this is, just, this is almost as bad as silver nitrate. All right, everybody, there we go. So, yes, it is a white solid that does discolor on exposure to light. Um, you can see the kind of brown solid that it turns into. Focus, you piece of shit. Look at that. It's just a light brown solid. I'm not 100% sure what it is. This is the watch glass that it dried on. Zoom in here. You can see little bits of dust here. These all started out as pure white. Now, it's an overcast day today, but you can start see they're already starting to turn. So whether it's under the solution it precipitated from, whether it's dry, doesn't seem to make any difference. Exposure to light will cause this stuff to darken. Now, I'm not really sure what it's turning into. I have no real clue. But we got 1.38 grams of the reasonably pure stuff. Uh, when I scraped all of this off of the filter paper into this vial, it was very dry, light, powdery, made it very fun trying to get it all in there, doing that indoors out of the light. That was fun. And um, it is only a very little bit of it is the light brown stuff. The rest of it, like I said, is virtually, it, it, almost all of it is pure white. So there we go. 1.38 grams of cadmium cyanide. Not the most efficient prep in the world, but I think that if you just played around with the proportions, you'd probably be able to get the yield to be very much improved. That's so awesome, man. It's, uh, there's another... Metal cyanide that I can add to my list of conquered cyanides. Yay! And now on to thallium cyanide. And until that one, you guys, I will see you later. Oh, that's so sexy. That is so cool. Wish it was more tolerant of the light, though. <laughs>